Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. I am Dr. Rosina. Today we'll be talking about the technique for giving the inferior alveolar nerve block. But before we continue, make sure to smash the subscribe button down below because it would really help me to do more and more videos. The inferior alveolar nerve is the largest division of the mandibular branch of the trigeminal nerve. And the trigeminal nerve, as you know, it is the fifth cranial nerve. And you know that the mandibular branch or the mandibular nerve is both motor and sensory. And it is the largest division of the trigeminal nerve. Now, when you give the block, what will be anesthetized? So in order to make sure that you gave the proper uh, injection technique. Mandibular teeth, gingiva of the mandible and the lower lip. So if the patient tells you my lips are numb, meaning that the block technique is successful. Now, how you can administrate the block correctly? Number one, you come from the second premolar of the contralateral side. So if you want to give a block for the left side of the mouth, then you come from the right side of the second premolar and you give injection. Then you will retract the cheeks. Once you retract the cheeks, you will feel there there is a notch. This notch is called the coronoid notch. Then you will see there is a line there. This line is called the pterygomandibular raphe. Just lateral to the pterygomandibular raphe is the pterygomandibular depression. Here is a clearer picture showing your thumb palpating the coronoid notch. And you can see there the inferior alveolar nerve. Very important to aspirate before giving injection in order to check if you are in the right place because you might hit the inferior alveolar artery, not the inferior alveolar nerve. Very important, don't give inferior alveolar nerve block bilateral, meaning that you give block right side and left side. Why is that? Because it will lead to airway obstruction.